To access the ebook for your course, click on the ebook link that your instructor has added into your Blackboard course. You may get an acknowledgement screen, and you can choose to not show this message again, and then click Launch. The very first time you access the ebook, click on the Enter button. Click anywhere on the screen to remove the overlay. Your ebook is organized into folders that follow the table of contents for your textbook. Click on the part that you would like to open, and the chapters that are included in that part of the book are listed. Click on the chapter that you would like to open. The table of contents for the chapter will appear. You can navigate to a specific section of the text simply by clicking on the relevant link, or you can navigate from section to section using the arrows on the side of the page. You'll notice that all key terms for the chapter are called out in bold and blue on the page. Click on the key term to reveal the definition. There are also pre-built flashcards that go along with the key terms that are accessible through your toolbar on the right-hand side of the page. To open the flashcards, click on the note cards icon. The key terms for the chapter will be included. You can click on the card to flip it to reveal the definition. Click the next card icon to move to the next term in the deck. You can also navigate to a different chapter by clicking the drop down menu at the top of the page. In addition to accessing flashcards, you can also highlight and take notes within the ebook. This is done simply by clicking and dragging over the relevant text on the page. When you release your cursor, a contextual menu will appear. You have four colors to choose from to highlight, and notice that you can also add a note look up a word in the dictionary, as well as create a flashcard. I'm going to go ahead and highlight the text, and we'll add a note. The note and highlight will appear on the page, but is also tracked for you in the Notes and Highlights tab over here on the side of the page. Another tool that you have within the ebook is the Read Speaker. This allows you to turn your text into an audiobook. You can have the entire page read aloud by clicking the Read Speaker icon in the top left-hand corner, or to have specific text on the page read aloud, simply click and drag over the relevant text and choose Read Text from your menu. You can select your Read Speaker settings by clicking on the Read Speaker icon in your, on your toolbar. This allows you to indicate how fast or slow you would like the text read and if you prefer a male or a female voice. To bookmark pages, simply click on the bookmark icon that's in the top right hand corner of the page and all of your bookmarks are included in the My Notes tool. This is the same tool that also tracks your highlights and notes. If you'd like to print any sections of the ebook, you can do so by clicking on the printer icon in the top left hand corner and you can also increase or decrease the font size using the A icons in the top right hand corner.